Hi guys, I'm actually working on the ISO builder, but then, but then on left WM. And there's somebody on the other line on Discord says I've uh, started up with I th what I think is the Arduino XB extended. So if you log out from the Arduino XB, Arduino XB, wow, Arduino XB extended, then you got all these tiny window managers, and he's added left WM. Uh, sorry, I had it um, GNOME, right? And I told him, look, um, when you start mixing things, it will eventually not look great in the sense that Arclinx B's, the ISOs, that's the way how the desktop is intended to be. But if you start mixing things, you need sometimes knowledge to get rid of this package or that package and settings and all that. It's not that straightforward as it is like turning a page or buying a new book it's not like that it's all mixed together and all the pieces come together and it's actually quite tricky right but it's fun in learning so there we go let's have a other test of the Arclinx tweak tool get GNOME in in the meantime I get all my packages in I have to check out my new theme that I've just created I cannot stop creating themes guys I think I should see a doctor. It's called Star Wars. Install Star Wars. Voila. Now we're going to apply it. And then the what if of the user. So this one is very keep it simple and stupid. Nice wallpaper gave me an idea to have the little swallow up here. So this is your X4 applications and uh, right mouse click gives a nice terminal the rest is just workspaces you can scroll through it and down here we're just gonna quit and that's all i need everything out of the way focusing on code or focusing on design or something like that so control t i'm gonna att this thing i often launch it this way and then it gives us some information and this is okay so this is benign We'll find it where this this little thing is, this, this little bug. It doesn't really bug us. So that's cool, but it's not nice. We'll figure it out. So GNOME, if we install it, we also see what's happening, right? So removing GNOME terminal from target list because okay. Actually, this we can actually get rid of or not. I guess I've made a decision. I should check the code again, but I do like my terminals to be transparent and GNOME terminal by default is not. So from the AOR, there's another one, GNOME terminal transparency, and that's nicer. So probably that's the reason why it's there. So super X log out, GNOME is installed and he showed me a nice screen and let's have a look. So this is our GNOME thing. Everything still looks okay. Then we click on this thing. How to start, we quit this thing is but ugly. <laughs> the icons are not okay. Everything is wrong, right? Because we are mixing things, right? The Arclinx B GNOME is looking so much nicer. So we have here the tweak tool. There's normally a tweak tool here, not ours the GNOME tweak tool. I don't know why they've done it. Oh, what's all this? Extensions has moved to GNOME extensions. Okay, thank you for letting us know. And we have your icons, right? We have the Alkin, the icons that we should set. We should set our cursor, modern eyes, and why the applications are dark. Much better already and sound is all normal arco wallpaper all good what do we have now we have our oak icons that are a bit specific right oops don't like those icons that's what i don't want to have but don't worry tweaks arclinx tweaks now he wants to know my ah oh, wrong application nope wrong application i want the other one of course these tweaks 
So appearance, blah, blah, blah. Where was it? This one is wrong. Article link scan the beauty. That's the one we need and that's the one we like. So activities go to the files. That's much better. So it's still, it boils down to knowledge after all. Mixing things together will break things. In this case, uh, if you want to know, control H. The settings of GNOME are never in files. We always say everything is a file. The dconf, we can call this a file, but it's actually a database. So it's the, con the, the things we have just saved, that for wallpaper, that for icons, that for a cursor, that for theme, that's in there, right? So as long as we don't copy it over, and that's why we have an article like B ISOs, that's gonna be the setting for Plasma, the setting for BSP, WM, etc., etc., etc. It's and specifically the DCOMF user is used by Budgie, GNOME, Cinnamon, and I should check if it's Mate as well. So some of our desktops really are focused on on yeah different parts of your system setting. So it's important to know what is where and how it all fits together and how it works together. And then you can uh, try to make it work and mix things. All right, cheers.